It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? I got some other business I need to take care of. you do? I destroyed Lady Arkham's drugs. The innocent people were a small price to pay. <coughs> you don't understand, Batman. Without me, Gotham is doomed. Thank God he was finally stopped. Nice work, Batman. My job's not done yet. I still need to find Lady Arkham before it's too late. Bruce, all of your bat tech is linked to this computer. If you take it offline, it will all be inoperable. If Penguin hacks in, he'll have control of all of it. I have to shut it down! Breaking news, the children of Arkham have taken hostages. High-profile Gotham citizens, including Police Commissioner Peter Grogan, who was taken while attempting to intervene. I repeat, the children of Arkham have taken hostages. Carry on, gents. Boss says it's time to get the bat's attention. Batman sighted, boss. Right on top! Commissioner, get to safety. I can't just leave these people. Them. Save our city. Commissioner! Commissioner! He's... He's gone.
Alfred. Oh, thank God. With the comms offline, I've no idea what's happening out there. I always fear the worst. I need to get back to the Batcave. Figure out Penguin's next move. I can't let him keep hurting innocent... As ever. Life off the grid must be treating you well, huh? What's your point? My point is, you're at the end of your rope. You can't even stop me offing a police commissioner. <laughs> Without your toys, you're nothing. Just turn yourself over to my men. Scouts that's on them, they'll go easy on you. Grogan's death is on you. And I'm here to make sure you pay oh, for it. Oh, Batman, those are just words. Words can never hurt you. Unlike this drone here, which is designed to cause quite a bit of pain. Ta-ta, Batman! No, no, come on, just stay put. Find a way to hack into it. I can get to Penguin. Anything? One of his men used a device that targeted my armor. If Penguin has more devices like that... The Batsuit will be a liability. It's already in bad shape. It couldn't protect me from a knife, let alone Penguin's new arsenal. If Batman can't take the fight to Penguin, maybe Bruce Wayne can. Face Penguin as Bruce? Without your armor, you'll be more vulnerable. But far from helpless. And meeting him as Batman would play right into his hand. Penguin thinks he knows me, but he has no idea what I'm really capable of. He certainly doesn't. And that may be his undoing. Besides, I won't be going alone. Get Gordon on the line. Give him our files on Oswald Cobblepot. Tell him that we did a little digging after he took my position as CEO. He should know who really killed Commissioner Grogan, and that the killer will be in Cobblepot Park. Tell them that Bruce Wayne will meet him there. Lieutenant, these officers are at risk. Penguin is... Green, get back! Martinez! I saw... some kind of... transmitter... hidden behind the statue. Hey, give us room. A transmitter? Wayne Tech. Controlling the drones. God damn it! Some of my officers are still in there. I'm not gonna let some two-fit thief kill my men! If you can destroy the transmitter, Oswald loses control of the drones. There's no way to get to it. You heard Martinez. Lieutenant, you need a distraction. I can keep him talking while you get into position. How the hell are you gonna do that? I don't think listening to the guy who publicly attacked him is at the top of his priority list. Oswald and I grew up together. A little trip down memory lane could buy you at least a couple minutes. That's all well and good, but he wants you dead. Trust me, Lieutenant. I'm your best shot at getting those officers out alive. This is insane. 
But I'm all out of options. I'll go in around the back. If he sees me... He won't. I'll keep him focused on me. You will get your chance. Keep the perimeter tight. If he suspects anything before those drones are offline, we're both dead. Same device that fried the suit. It's a hell of a trap, Oz. Bullies aren't coming back. They better not. Oh, oh. They say bad things about my family. I'll smash the dumb faces. Stop us, please. I'll smash all the dumb faces. Get the word out, eh? All the channels. The penguins got a wane in Cobblepot Park. Oswald! Bruce! Welcome! The pigs are making it hard to bring in the bait for Batman. But now that you're here, I have the perfect law! Not that I'm upset, but... What does bring you by, hmm? Never known a Wayne to stick his neck out. I've come to talk, Oz. It's a bit late in the day for that. Still, I'm tough you popped by. Well, so far, only Gotham's finest have bothered to show. They paid for sticking their snouts in where they don't belong. You know, I'm surprised Batman's not already here to save you. He's usually so on top of everything. Maybe I need to cause a few more screams. Maybe he knows it's a trap. You haven't exactly been subtle. See, that's the thing about Batman. You dangle an innocent life in front of him, and he has to show he can't help himself. And when he arrives, oh ho ho! The lights, the sounds, the blood running into the gutters. Once he's out of the picture, there'll be nothing left in our way. Mine, or Lady Arkham's. She's got some pretty big ideas for the city, and they're about to kick into gear. I know Lady Arkham's real name. She's Vicky Vale. Oh, did you figure that out when she stuck you with a needle full of drugs? I've done all right by all this brew, huh? It wasn't so long ago, and you and me met in this very park. Me crawling out of the gutter. You looking down from on high. Take a gander at us now, eh? Right? Night and day. You'd hardly recognize us, would you? I always treated you with respect, Oz. Respect? Oh, don't make me laugh. You only learned a word after I tossed you out of your company. Unless... This wouldn't be some kind of plan, would it? You working with the bat? Did you really come here all alone, Bruce? If anyone could afford to keep that brute on the payroll, it's you. Why, Oz? Are you scared of Batman? 
might be, if I weren't so certain of my upper hand, as it were. Ah, not that you can't look after yourself. You certainly do know how to beat down an unarmed man. I mean, the drug only reveals your true feelings. Felt like you were working out some issues there, eh, hey, Bruce? I am truly sorry for what happened, Oz. I never meant to hurt you so badly. I, I was drugged. And... You? Hitting me? I'm the one on top now, Bruce. And it's about bloody time. Your father locked my mum in Arkham Asylum to steal our fortune. He drove my own dad to suicide! The way it's caused the ruin of my entire bloody family. Enough of this! You try to get me all shaken up? I'm not waiting any longer. That man be damned. We're done, chap, no friend. I'm releasing these drones. They'll make mud out of you and all the lawmen around this park. And then on to the rest of this bloody city. All right, fine. It's my fault, Oz. What now? You're right. Everything that happened, everything you've gone through, that blame falls on me. On my whole family. How unlike you to admit your faults. Maybe you think that'll save you, eh? Ah, but guess what? It won't! Oh, bloody hell! to answer for. Oh, you bloody pigs! How's this for an answer? <clears throat> <laughs> Is that all you've got? Show some dignity and defeat, Oswald. Freedom is right. I gotta admit, you surprised me. You were right about this one. Gotham owes you a debt. The GCPD does too. I won't forget it. Thank you. I didn't do this for gratitude, Lieutenant. When you've been fighting crime in Gotham as long as I have, you take your thanks where you can get them. You think this changes anything, do ya? Lady Arkham's gonna have your heads served up on a platter. He has a point. We just took down Lady Arkham's top man. She's not gonna stand for this. No, she isn't. I never thought I'd say this, but... I hope to God that Batman has a better idea where she is than we do.
<sighs> How go the repairs? Going offline kept Penguin from finding the Batcave, but it also scrambled our system. The Bat computer barely runs, and worse, most of my tech isn't working. It's going to take time to get everything up and running again. If it gets running again, it's going to make tracking down Lady Arkham a hell of a lot harder. You've proven that you don't need armor or gadgets to help this city. In the end, Bruce Wayne was the one to stop Penguin. Bruce, these last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. D not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down, even those whom you admire. Not everyone is like my father or Oswald. And what Harvey became, well, it wasn't by choice. And me. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her, if I'd stopped Thomas, none of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald, even Harvey. I don't blame you for what happened, Alfred. You did the best you could in an impossible situation. And it helped to make me the man I am today. I... Thank you, Bruce. But our work isn't done. The children of Arkham are still out there. And Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Vicky Vale, mid-30s, reporter for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record, her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here, in the manor, she gave nothing away of her true nature then. The Gazette's records of the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right, there are notable gaps between entries, but yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. The children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. 
Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? Oswald was, was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it Falcone Island. Hmm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. Oh, Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not... unless... Hold on. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the Bat Computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? No surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in sociology. And my medical records. There are some... Well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Ah, oh, that's better. What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here, and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Vicky was digging deep. 
Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Bruce, you there? It's urgent. One of the bat prototypes has been stolen. By Lady Arkham? Not quite. I'm patching you the feed now. She stole from you? After we opened our doors to her. After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? She must have her reasons. Well, I'm sure she does. The device she stole. It's a prototype. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands. Especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. I'm going to get some answers from Selina. I wasn't expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. Clearly my ride needs a tune-up. If you wanted to see me, you could have just called. <laughs> the chase is so much more fun. But I know you're not here for me. Are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. That device is far too dangerous to be out in the world. If Lady Arkham got a hold of it, that blood would be on your hands. Wow. That's pretty dramatic, Bruce. Catch. You might be exaggerating, but I'd rather not take the chance. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Scourge of Gotham. I was always going to steal from Bruce Wayne. I just never expected he'd be so interesting. So it was all just an act. Everything we've done together. A lie. That's how it started. And now it's over. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire. And I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... meaningful with those skills of yours. 
You don't need the money, but... But think of the fun. Someday, yeah. Maybe I will be able to leave Gotham. But for now, I am the only one who can save this city. So humble. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. Selena, I would never hurt you. Bruce, I... That's really sweet. But it brings us to the root of our problem, doesn't it? You're upset that I'm leaving. What'd you think? That one night of sex meant we were going steady? Is that what you really thought? It was a mistake. Yeah, I get it. You just tripped and fell into my bed. Then this should be easy for you to understand. You were just a job. A frustrating, if sometimes entertaining, job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. It's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? Because I love you, Selena. You... you barely know me. Bruce, if that's your idea of love, I feel sorry for you. Well, there's one good thing to come out of this. Now I know I was right. You really are just like everyone else. Can't wait to get out of this place. Stay out of trouble, Selena. Because if not, I will stop you. You can certainly try. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but... Alfred? Alfred! Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? everywhere. Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. What did they do to you, Alfred? Furniture scattered outwards from a single point.
face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. This pool cue was used as a weapon, swung so hard it broke in half. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. The lock's been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here. But they got in anyway. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? How the hell? See a connection here. The poker couldn't have made that crack. These weren't scattered by the same event. Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off Lady Arkham, but she knocked it aside. I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon. The 
before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor, used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. But Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Wait. That picture doesn't belong there. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. Alfred. The butler did it. Password reckoning. You have no idea. what she's doing to him. All right. Well, then let's get to work. Alfred keeps adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he knows the bat computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. Damn it. I can't access the news feed. I need to get this working again. Okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Professional-grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. Mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. 
So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. The basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. for all homes built on that date. We can get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. We know where Alfred is, but I'm without a working bat suit. Actually. One of the early prototypes. It has basic cowl functionality, but outside of that, it doesn't protect much more than your identity, I'm afraid. Good call. Thank you, Lucius. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it should still scare the crap out of criminals. This ends tonight. Basement. Be careful. I'm all right. There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. The blood hasn't congealed yet. Means we can't be far behind them. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. There's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. The wall is just a facade. Why would the Vales have a false wall in their basement? Now let's find out where the veils were hiding. There's a small room. With a hole in the floor. A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. Alfred! I'm 
going inside. children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different. Newer. to Alfred what was done to her. Disturbing. Vicky created her here, in this room. This is where Vicky Vale became Lady Arkham. This blood is fresher than the rest. Must be Alfred's. One piece apart from the others. Blue. Mm. The same color as my tack. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe... Figures... Fleeing from something. Is that... Arkham Asylum? left me a message using this chalk, but there must be more to it. Some of the words have been highlighted. She will liberate. He's added to an old drawing of Arkham Asylum. He drew figures outside the gates, like they're running away. The words highlighted are, she will and liberate. She will liberate. I don't see what that has to do with Alfred. Alfred's just along for the ride. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems, including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors, release the inmates, and she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise.
good? Orderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it, then. The children of Arkham have taken over. Lieutenant Gordon says the GCPD are on their way. He's leading the team himself. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. No one's dying tonight. You really think you're in control here? <laughs> Your confidence is impressive. But that won't save the butler. Or the rest of Gotham. A lesson needs to be taught. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I've been to your home. I've seen where the Bales kept you. People like them, they deserve to be behind bars. Behind bars? They deserved and got far worse than that. Even if they did, no one else needs to die. You're wrong! Your time's run out! Underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman. Batman. He stuck me in here! Me too. Let me out He's the crazy one!
die. Truly inspiring. Such a pleasure to see your work in person. Oh, Jesus. Gordon's here. We'll round up the rest of the inmates. You stop Lady Arkham. There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. You've already lost, Vicky. Come out and surrender! <laughs> Bring you Wayne. But first, let Alfred Pennyworth go. No, no, no. Afraid he's too useful to do that just yet. You're doing so much for one old man. Those men deserved their day in court, just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than his father? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward, leaving other men to carry his burdens. You aren't my enemy, Batman. <sighs> I'm 
curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? Batman is who I am. Who I need to be. To do what must be done. If that's what you believe, you're lying to yourself. You wear the mask so that you can't be held accountable. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you... you... you came... you came for me. Uh, after what you said, I knew you'd come. The man... the man I, I made you... Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just... Dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Uh, above you! <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. For someone you've never met before. Release him. Then we'll talk. <laughs> you know, I just don't believe you. I think Alfred may be the only way I can make you talk. It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. Batman, don't you... Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. To prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. If that's what it will take to save him... No! Must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true Wayne. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. I can't change what happened in the past. I would have fought for you, Vicky. No one should have to suffer the way that you did. You don't know how I suffered! But you will! I'll show you what Thomas Wayne did to me. To my family!
it's over. Nothing will keep me from my revenge. As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Any word from Miss Kyle? And I don't expect I'll be hearing from her anytime soon. With everything that's been going on, I... I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain, gone. I'm sure you've considered the consequences. I just can't help but worry. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> that it does. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. Gotham is safer now. 
I only hope the peace will last. We could all use some peace. To peace. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen, but experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a fresh start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. <clears throat> so, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask, and one is who you truly believe you are. Let Gordon know Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression Gordon will be grateful. Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, it doesn't sound right. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What uh, happened to your ear? It looks painful. Cut myself shaving. What'd you use, a chainsaw? Well, to be honest, I was surprised to get you a call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor... I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that, I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. Gotham doesn't have to like me, but I do hope they'll hear me out. I appreciate that. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. So, does this mean you trust the Batman? Uh, to play by my rules? No. But to fight for this city? Hell yes. They're ready for you, Commissioner. Now, during times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. 
But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough act to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. And some of those losses came at the hands of my own father. Or at least as a result of his actions. I would like to take this opportunity to apologize. To tell you how sorry I am for the pain the Wayne family has caused this community. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end, a closer alliance between the GCPD and Wayne Enterprises will provide the police force with the support, with the training, and the equipment they need to make Gotham safer than it ever has been before. The GCPD will be the most technologically advanced police force in the country because the people of Gotham deserve to feel safe. to lock up. Just minutes ago, Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does clean up well. See you soon, Brucey. <laughs> 